What's up everyone? Welcome to Director Discovery and I am Nicholas Clayton Lee. Today I'm going to be talking about the Makaj Moritz jacket. But before I start, I'd like to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel because it'll help me a lot. And maybe leave a comment in the video because I love reading what you guys have to say and I love seeing that I'm able to help you guys make a decision. Anyway, let's get right into it. So this year in Toronto, winter actually hasn't been that bad. It hasn't been that cold, especially if you're someone like me who loves staying indoors all the time. But if you're someone who loves going outdoor all the time and would love looking stylish, then you've got to check out Makaj jackets. For those who don't know, Makaj is a Canadian brand that came out in 1999. And today it's one of the most prestigious contemporary outerwear brands in the world. But today, I'm going to just be talking about the one Makaj Moritz jacket. This is a fur-lined parka with removable silver fox trim. This jacket is both windproof and water repellent. There are storm cuffs, downline sleeves, and leather draw cords at the waist and hood. So the inside is actually rabbit's fur and it's so soft. I feel like I could be naked in this and it will feel so good. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do I look stylish? How about these? So what do you guys think about the photos? <laughs> anyway, I was just screwing around. I figured I got a nice jacket. Why not try to take some nice photos? I did what I could. They were all selfies, so... Anyway, yeah, I gotta take this off. This is way too hot because they actually said that this jacket is still good when it's negative 25 degrees outside. That's negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually really good for being able to look good when it's so cold outside. So this Makaj Moritz fur lined parka costs $1,790 Canadian. That's around $1,400 US. But there's another one without the fur inside that costs around $1,200 Canadian. Obviously, it won't be as warm and it won't be as soft. <laughs> so is this worth it? I think it really depends on two things. One is the key one. It's depending on where you live. Another is depending on whether or not you go out a lot. So if you're like me, somebody who lives in Toronto or somebody who lives in New York, which the weather does get really cold and you actually do have to dress up all the time just to maybe get into some restaurants, which is really annoying by the way, then yeah, this is gonna be great. And if you like dressing up all the time, then yes, this is perfect. But if you're living in somewhere like Vancouver where the weather doesn't really get that cold, then I don't think it's really that worth it. But end of the day, this is one of the nicest and most comfortable winter jackets I've ever tried. Anyway, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to discover more random products, places, and restaurants, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.